One of the most memorable quests in the original Final Fantasy VII was collecting the pieces of a dress so that Cloud could sneak into Don Corneo's mansion as a woman along with Aerith. It was weird, wacky, and in some ways, epitomizes the seventh entry in the series. And while this cross-dressing sequence is still in the Seven remake, there is one significant change to it. Each girl, and this includes Cloud, can wear something different, making for nine dresses in total. And hey, this is even tied to a trophy. But how do you actually get these dresses for Tifa, Aerith, and Cloud? Well, join us as we explain how to dress for success. Let's start with Tifa as hers is the first to appear in the game. In Chapter 3, Cloud will arrive in the Sector 7 slums and meet his childhood friend. It's then that she shows him around the neighborhood and gives advice on how to help people and grow his reputation as a mercenary. Once you complete all of these side quests, a special scene can be accessed where Cloud and Tifa talk in her room. There, she'll mention going out on the town with him and ask what kind of dress he thinks suits her. The choice you make will determine the type of dress she wears when going to see Don Corneo all the way in Chapter 9. But before that, we have to determine what dress Aerith will wear when it comes time to meet Don Corneo. This decision is made in Chapter 8 and is far less obvious. The type of dress Aerith will wear is based on the amount of side quests completed in the Sector 5 slums. Doing all six grants her the best dress, doing only three is her average dress, while doing none of them is how you'll eventually receive her plainest and final dress. And that just leaves Cloud, which is determined in Chapter 9. As you go to Don Corneo's mansion the first time, you'll spot Johnny running in the opposite direction. If you talk to him, the side quest, Burning Thighs, A Dynamite Body, and The Party Never Stops will eventually be unlocked while Aerith is being fitted for her dress. This will net Cloud his first dress. However, if you ignore Johnny completely and pay for the best massage from Madam M, a different set of quests will be available. Burning Thighs, The Price of Thievery, and Shear's Counterattack. This is how Cloud receives his second dress. The third dress can only be obtained if all of the side quests are ignored and you head straight for Madam M's. And there you have it. That's how all nine dresses are found in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. It may take three playthroughs, but remember that after you complete the game, chapter selection will be made available. However, the choices will only be locked in place if the chapter they're in are finished. It's just a matter of patience at that point. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Final Fantasy and other things gaming.